In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa pray for us. So I was reading more into Father Gordon McRae, and I mean, his life can't be more transparent. I know there's a lot of junk and garbage on there, stuff he didn't do. But there's a lot of really interesting stuff on there about his life and how he suffered from alcoholism. Actually, his parents suffered from alcoholism. And unfortunately, it went, it went down the line, and he started suffering from this and after his ordination. And so he was sent to New Mexico, Jemez Springs, and he went through this program, and during that time, he had some sort of ep epilepsy or, or something. It could be attributed to a demonic possession of some sort, maybe having to do with his father's suicide. You know, his father committed suicide at age 54. They say from a drug overdose, like heart medication overdose, but I don't know how true that part is. But um, I think Father Gordon McRae kind of tried to, to cover that up, which didn't help, you know. Oftentimes people try to cover things up they think are going to make them look bad and kind of backfires because their weakest, a person's weakness is actually their strength. And that's what it says in scripture. But anyway, so he suffered from this. And then, and then the people loved him so much after he got through the program that they wanted to make him, you know, have him do some sort of ministry there in New Mexico. And he had the support of the bishop in New Hampshire. So this is all going pretty good. But then uh, he had this weird thing happen where he, um, they said he solicited a minor. And this kind of confuses me because Father Gordon McRae, unless this document was forged, which it could be, who knows, uh, said he admitted to it and he pled guilty to it and he went to the police and whatever, but uh, that he was on epileptic medicine so he doesn't really remember what he said, but he thinks he... And I'm kind of paraphrasing this because it's so confusing. Uh, but it doesn't say exactly what he said to this person. And that's the thing I'd kind of like to clear up. What did he say to him? Was he just, uh, you know, and why? Why would this go on? I mean, it's so out of character for him. And it seems like really bizarre, right? So he pled guilty to this. And, uh, you know, the diocese was trying to work with him. But then this, uh, and this was coming out of, I don't know. This is very confusing to me. So it has something to do with it was filed in Keene, the county of Keene. And that's when that that crazy detective got a hold of Father Gordon McRae and tried to twist things around way out of proportion. So basically, the, the, the match was already lit. There were some addiction problems with Father Gordon McRae. He'd suffered from heavy smoking in his past and all this. He was honest about it. I also don't like how the diocese was kind of babying Father Gordon McRae by sending him to these very expensive programs and giving him a stipend and stuff. I mean, I'm sorry, but, you know, we don't want, the lay people are working hard and they don't need to be giving all their stuff to somebody. That That's just how I feel. I feel a diocese misallocated funds like that. I mean... Why can't he just work at McDonald's for a year and get over himself? Like, why does he have to go to a treatment program? I mean, there's other ways to uh, discipline a priest that doesn't involve them uh, being pampered and given a lot of money for, out of lay people's pockets. That's just how I feel. That may have been, that's probably a fault more on the diocese than Father Cormac Ray. But when you get pampered for being bad, you know, what do you expect? So anyway, uh, so he's going through this thing, there's a teaching thing, then there's a misdemeanor he pled guilty to, facilitating a minor, which, you know, I'm sorry, but if you light a match, then don't expect people to run and start twisting your story around, making all these crazy things, and that's what happened. They started making, taking terrible, crazy things and twisting his life around way out of proportion. That's how this happened. I'm still doing some research on all of this.